103.3 KFR. Well, number one, you mm. s- you hold it up. Just hold it up and see if it looks... Okay. Hold it by the stem. Oh, oh by the stem? Okay, yeah. All there right. You, go. Already you just look to see if it's filtered, if, if there's stuff in it. Uh, if, is it clean? Is it brilliant? Just to give you... An, you know, you, you should always look at something before you put it in your mouth. It's I can like look, a diamond. <laughs> I can look straight yeah. through it and see Krista. That's, that's yeah. pretty yeah. clear. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. The Beautiful. second thing is mm-hmm. you, you swirl it a little. Swirl now, there's a, a reason for that besides just trying to show off. The, uh, the <laughs> swirling gets the wine on the side of the glass, and then as it evaporates, you can get more of the aroma. So after you swirl it, you you put your nose into it, and uh, you should be able to smell some aromas. Do you smell oak? Do you it smell does. fruit? I do. Do you smell uh, a little? I get a little toffee out of it sometimes. Oh yeah. Uh, On the palate. A little vanilla. The vanilla comes from the oak. All right. Then you smell it. Okay. You know, after you swirl it, you smell it, and. Uh, uh, does it smell like vinegar? Does it smell delicious? No, it does not smell like no, vinegar. No, I know. I no. know, but it, which, yeah. it, I wouldn't it have brought really it if it yeah. did. <laughs> <laughs> it okay. sounds nice and fresh, and it makes yeah. me want to be outside. Well, you, yeah. Now, there's if you have a cold, you, you think you can't taste anything, but there's nothing wrong with your taste buds. It's because you can't smell. So this, the smell is a big deal with, with wine. If you chill white wine down, it still gives off an aroma, but if you chill red, it doesn't. That's oh. why they say serve red wines at room temperature. It doesn't. If you like it cold, put ice cubes in it. But I've, that's the reason for it. I've actually got dirty looks before at restaurants for yeah. putting ice cubes in my wine. They were like five star restaurants. Oh, yeah. they ice cubes in their pants. They, you know. <laughs> ice cubes in your pants. Do you also um, do that sip. with red sweet wine? Do you do you not put that in the fridge with a red sweet wine? Yeah, you can. not Sure. Oh, okay, just sure. wasn't sure. Sure. Yeah, red wines, sweet wines will. They'll warm up. They'll get off an aroma, but it's, okay. they're they're not as subtle. These they're, they're subtle tastes in some of the dry reds. Okay. And now then you sip it. All you right. Know? So we've done the swirling. We've done the, the smelling. You, yep. you just want to make sure that it's that it's something that you actually do want to taste. Right. Sometimes there's an off odor or a bad cork or something. So. All right. Or just a bad product. Bottoms up, Will Harvey. Bottoms up. Yeah. Here we go. Take a taste. Swirl it around and uh, savor the flavor. Now, does it taste good right off the bat? Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. Does it uh, continue to satisfy, and does it linger afterwards? Some fall, some wines taste really good for the first sip, but then they fall flat. The aftertaste is flat. I, no, th- no, I, I can think feel that one tastes pretty good. Yeah. It's got a, a very good aftertaste, and the as you swirl it in your mouth, you, mm-hmm. you definitely get more of the flavor. Yeah, you'll yeah. get a little bit of oak in there, very little. We use oak just as a spice to. Uh, so it's in the background. We don't oak the hell out of it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm buzzed already. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chris okay. needs to drive home. I... Okay. On your computer, smartphone, or tablet, WKFR.com.